tell my dear, I beg, put up their faces. Hey, you see, all these people that want to sell the asset of Nigeria, Ashiri Yinti too, you want to put Nigeria on sale? I hope you are watching me live and direct all of you. Ah, I'm going to punish you, every single one of you. Hey, <laughs> what's up, my people? It's your girl, Yadiola. I'm sure that you must have heard that those people are trying to sell Nigeria's national asset. Ben, he started with the richest man. Ah, hey, the richest man in Africa. Ah, Alahaji Alekodangote, why now? You want to do me like that? When will you have enough, Alahaji? Hey, when will you have enough? You did not even consult me. So now you want to own the whole of Nigeria? I know where you live, far, And the two of us cannot fit in one Shokoto. Um, how do you translate that? Yeah, one trouser. The, the two of us cannot fit in one trouser. The man suggested that. For us to get out of recession, that we should sell the multi-billion dollar liquefied natural gas company. And they also want to sell an MPC. Hey, father, father, I like it. Hey, beru alone, me. Hey, beru alone. Say that in Hausa. You don't know how to speak Hausa, get out. You can't even borrow some of your money, I like it. So we can pay you back when we are out of recession. The man is worth 12 billion dollars. You're 12 billion. Hey, father. So you are not selling your own assets. You want us to sell our own assets. Well, light a lie, Alaji. Hey, bear you along. I was not surprised, by the way, that the Senate President, Bukola Saraki, backed this idea. I said, ah, Uncle Saraki, you know, in a duel, in case you are watching, he's not hiding it. Everybody knows that hey, my uncle is a prodigal son. Hey, man, he wants to talk with Loretta. Oh, need your uncle Bukola. In a duel, in case you are watching me. Hello, duty. Along, but hello, duty. If everybody is talking about selling assets in Nigeria, it shouldn't be somebody that has several corruption charges against him in court. Ah, uh, Uncle Bukola, Uncle Bukola, don't let me look you in the eye. So now they said that the finance minister, Kemi Adiosu, also seconded this idea, saying that the money realized from the sale of the company would be used to fund the 2016 budget. I said, ah, Auntie Kemi, eh, Auntie Kemi, Auntie Mia Benny, Olua Kemi, you're the funny chop, but why? Why you they do me like this? Ah, huh? you disappointed, Mama. Auntie, if we are selling this one for the 2016 budget, by the way, by the way, we are still looking for money for the 2016 budget. This is October, no be so. So, Auntie Kemi, please move closer, <laughs> move closer. What are we going to sell for the 2017 budget? And then the 2018 budget, what are we going to sell? <laughs> why am I even asking? <laughs> the next thing they will say that they want to sell the railway and in our parks and our tourist attractions before you know it my people they will start selling us the people Ben, why not kuku sell the people of nigeria and she can me eh, eh, she tawa. you must to sell all of us so if you want to sell nigeria then you must to sell all of us first of all we are not selling we are not selling anything and that is despite the fact that everybody knows that when you sell something at a desperate time it akuta no matter that is to say that the assets will always be undervalued and sold at a very cheap price. Everybody knows that. They are telling us that they will buy it back, you know. I said, how many assets of Nigeria have you people bought back? How many? How many have you guys bought back? Ha, wait, wait a minute. The vice president is also on the list. Hey, what? Hey. And then you are welcome to this program. Ah, you disappointed, Mama. You disappointed. What happened? What happened to you? I hope you are watching. You know that I'm the only one that will tell you the truth. Ben, you have me on speed dial. Buy me on Simba. You have me on speed dial. Every one of you, every one of these people that supported this idea, they all have me on speed dial. Everybody knows my phone number 000 1223. Everybody knows my number. Why not call me for advice? Why didn't you call me? Eh? Now, let me tell you what I think. I think that we should sell these people's assets. Yes, all these people that want to sell the asset of Nigeria, we should sell all of their assets. And let's see what we can make from that. We should sell their houses, their cars, their companies. A lot of them have big, big companies. Father, they have companies. Their shares, we should sell their shares. And let's see how much we can make from that. Second of all, we have to cut down the salaries of all government officials. How long have I been saying this on this show? That these people are overpaid. That is why their stomach keep getting bigger. We need to cut down their salaries. And I'm talking about all the officials, the ministers, the senators, House of Assembly. You know I spoke with a senator last week that came here for the General Assembly. That is a senator, Abdullahi Ali Yusabi, eh? my father. In case you are watching, it was very nice meeting you. I know that you will not forget me because we were arguing back and forth. That day. Do you feel like it's okay how much you get paid? You see, with to me, uh, Adiola, the, look, the let's, let's the face reality. Let's, no. Hey, you know, it was very nice meeting you. He's a senator as well as the spokesperson for the Senate. You know that the man told me that Nigerian senators are one of the least paid senators in the whole world? The National Institute for Legislative Studies brought out so many countries 
they've compared in contrast, let me tell you that we are actually even the least paid. You're the least paid. Yes, yeah, we're not. In the world. World. Yes, compared with other countries. Okay, okay, we hear you, but uh, Oga, exactly how much do you make? How much do you get paid, sir? Well, I think uh, the issue of how much do I get paid is a debate that to me is just over body. So, how much do you get paid? You go and ask, the document is there. Because people have been asking this question. Ben, he refused to say exactly how much. And that is different from the allowance. So, <laughs> so I propose that our senators should get, let's give them 200,000 naira. My people, this is a time of recession. 200,000 naira is enough. 200, we are in recession. Everybody else is feeling it. People have not been paid since November of last year. And there are reports of people that died because of hunger, because they've not been paid in God knows how long. So the senators, the lawmakers, the ministers, they should be able to do away with 200,000 naira per month during this time of recession. Do you know how much we would save? And that money can go towards the budget. And I hope you are listening, eh? <laughs> you know, do it. Seriously, I know that 200,000 naira may sound ridiculous to these senators, you know, because I know that they live in a whole nother world. But did you guys see the news about how Saudi Arabia cut down the salaries of their ministers by 20%? We're talking about Saudi Arabia, where they have oil money. They cut down their salaries by 20% in order to help the economy. Why can't we do that? They are not selling their assets, but they are cutting down the salaries of ministers. Now, this company that they are trying to sell, the liquefied gas company that these people are trying to sell, do you guys know that it generated $85 billion for Nigeria in the last 15 years? $85 billion. That's how much the company generated for Nigeria. And they want to sell it. And that amount is just what was reported because you guys know that a lot of money was stolen in the last five years. Yet, they want to sell this company. How bad? And then should we talk about NNPC? Isn't that the only thing that we depend on in Nigeria? By the way, human rights lawyer Femi Falana has already laid out how Nigeria can recover 200 billion dollars. Billion dollars. I'm not saying Naya. How we can recover 200 billion dollars from outstanding revenues. What I don't understand is why we are not following this man's recommendations. Those of you that are watching me, how many of you, if you have somebody owing you 50 million Naya? And then you are broke and you desperately need 10 million naira. How many of you will now start selling your house when somebody is owing you 50 million naira and you know that that person has your money. He's spending it anyhow. He keeps buying new cars, new houses. You see him spending your money with your koro koro eyes. Of course, nobody will sell their assets when they have outstanding revenues that they can go and recover. Unless the person is crazy. So why are we trying to do that with Nigeria? We're trying to sell our assets. When we have all these big, big people in Nigeria that are owing us money, why don't we collect the money that they are owing us? And and that is not to talk about what we can get from agriculture or other natural resources if we eventually diversify our economy like we've been shouting all this while. Nigeria, you're not never ready, but you guys are doing anything. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real.